to become the best, fight those guys, Marvis Hagler, um, they didn't care. I mean, uh, they just wanted to put on a show for the fans, and they wanted to show and prove themselves that they are the best in the in, in their division. And that's what it comes to. You know, um, I understand with Floyd Mayweather and everything that's been going on, of course, uh, protect your oath, but there's been a lot of great champions have that have come off a loss and and have been, if not now, cash cows and the cash kings with, like, Canelo, Anthony Joshua, um, and so many others. So I don't really look at it as a risk. Um, but I'm not coming in this mindset of losing. So, those are the words of Teofimo Lopez as he states that he's willing to take the chance if he loses or not. And even if he does lose, he understands that there's fighters like Canelo, like, like Joshua, that have became cash cows after their first loss. And me, my take on that. He said that, then said, well, I don't have a mindset of losing. Well, if you don't have a mindset of losing, my counterpunch to Teofimo Lopez, I don't feel that you should use those guys as an example. Now, I know, of course, in this same interview, he did say, I am Mayweather. But I think he's covering all his options and all the particular alternatives to what this fight can produce, okay? And saying something like that, it's good, it's confident. It's almost like giving yourself a cushion if you have a defeat. You know, saying, well, I don't have the mindset of losing well. Saying guys that already lost is not really a good way of saying uh, or proving that you don't have a mindset of losing. But when he said, I'm Mayweather, I think he's trying to reiterate, hey, this is what's going to happen. I am that younger fighter like Floyd when he fought Hernandez, you know, and beat Hernandez at a young age, a young ripe age like he was. And, you know, it definitely shows Teofimo having confidence, but I also think Teofimo also has common sense. Okay. Because if he didn't think, if there wasn't an inkling of a possibility of him losing, I think he would have never said what he just said. Okay. I think he said that because it's one of those things that you must say to yourself in order to be realistic about what could happen and what could happen. He could lose because we don't know until the day. Does he have the power to take him out? Of course he does. You know, does he have a good ring IQ? He does have a good ring IQ. But the thing is, does he have a good enough ring IQ to beat Lomachenko? We will know on the day. I haven't gave you guys a fight prediction yet, but I will by the end of the week just to get that started. I'm still looking at footage over these two champions. But it does bring a question up when he does bring up Joshua and Canelo as examples, okay, of some of, of fighters that have lost their O already. You know, but it does give a, a light of hope if he does lose, because a lot of people, when they lose their O, they're not the same again, depending on how they lost. If it's a humiliating loss, he may never be the same. But since he is looking at those guys that do have the loss, that are cash cows, there is some hope for him if he loses. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Teofimo Lopez. Is he saying that he may lose? You know, is he implying that he lo it may lose? You guys let me know in the comments below. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunching. Peace.